just wanted to get out of the house, out of the garage before I started talking because it's pretty early in the morning here. And I'm going to take you along on a journey from the last couple of days. Here is the purple moose. If you're ever in Alaska, make sure and come here and get some coffee. I've got my breakfast burrito and coffee from my favorite weekend coffee shop, The Purple Moose. And I am headed back to the house. Just want to tell you this story. My in-laws are in town and uh, they wanted to go see the real Alaska. So we scheduled a flight with K2 Aviation out of Talkeetna up to the Denali Mountain Pass. Tried to go there on Friday, didn't quite work out. Got an opportunity to go back yesterday, Saturday, and it was glorious. So we have less than favorable weather conditions at the moment. This is the Denali lookout point. We are in Talkeetna, and somewhere in the darkness up there, above the tree line, is Mount Denali, which is what I think the second highest mountain range. Um, so, we are uh, hoping we can see a little more than that once we get up in the air. Our flight plan, as it appears right now, has been moved to 1.30 because 11 o'clock this cloud covering is pretty much hiding everything and there's snow on the mountain in the landing area as well. So um, they're gonna keep us posted. We're gonna go walk around town. I wanna talk to you, Robin? Yeah. Okay. Do you wanna go to the store? We go around the back. Yeah, oh. Hi. Yeah. Good morning. They can meet us here. Are we waiting? We can wait. Hi, Supreme. Yeah. your child. So have coffee will yeah. travel. Yeah. This keeps your hand warm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dad, the little the little Morton salt girl. Yeah. Oh. Salty bitch, Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, that's what it says. It does. We have a Native Art Gallery, Alaska made gifts. There's a case with hand carved knives. Stairs in the corner take you up for the house stuff. There's kid stuff, baby stuff, jammies, Christmas corn, big sale section. You just don't have much here, do you? No. <laughs> no, we sure don't. <laughs> we find room. Is that? Oh, Ula's. Ula's. Is that the size of it? I don't know. Yeah, the kind we have. That's yeah. the size of it? I th yeah, I believe ours is. Cool. Or maybe ours is this size. Yeah. Fairbanks, kombucha, Sipping Streams Tea Company. Is this one of those knots on the tree that they've done something yeah, with? Yeah, it's just like a polished burl. Okay. It's called so a burl? Yeah, there's a fungus that gets in the tree and it gets these knots on it. Uh -huh. And people up here think they're really cool. I think...
Now here's your waterfront cabins. Yeah. What time is it getting to be? It's 11.15. Oh, maybe so we I'm should head we towards should that. To the, to the dining facility. I'm thinking we can get one of these. That's fine. And then get, you want a salad? It's half a salad, half a Caesar. No. Thank you. I'll, I'll have brown fries. I'll find the sure? fish. Mm -hmm. I eat sweet potato. Obviously, no bun and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, with some sweet potato fries. Thank you. I guess I'm thinking Twister Creek. Okay. Are you ready for food, you guys? Twister Creek yes. burger. Before you leave, I'll get your food. We're gonna, I, I got oh, you. Split? Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. You know what? Baked. What is it? Baked you know, cod. Alaskan cod. Alaska. Alaska. What did he have? Dad and Robin got fish and chips and curly fries. Fish and chips, okay. No, I'm good. And then we have the whatever the burger is I ordered. Okay. Sun, the sun is showing. Come on, sunshine. And that's, I think that's south, right? Am I? Yeah, that's what we need that way. And it's cloudy. Still cloudy. Okay. Well, flight's canceled due to weather, even though we postponed it to later in the day. We're back at the lookout point. This is the kind of weather issues we're dealing with here. But this is our lookout to Mount Denali, where we were earlier. And um, get up on this. So it's over there, somewhere, uh, still quite covered up. But uh, we're gonna maybe see if we can come back again and give it a try. But at least we got to enjoy the town of Talkeetna and uh, got to see lots of, lots of cool things to buy and had an awesome lunch. Oh, yes. Okay, hang on. What, so, are, we, what are we looking at here? So here is on a clear day. So that's a clear day. That's perfect world. And then if you come here, if you notice that There's white picking right through there, that is at the tippy top. So. And this is, is this at the K2 Aviation crossed. site? We should be good. Yeah, this is, it's their site, but it's Denali's actual webcam. Said, come on down, it's gorgeous. All right, well, part two, let's try again. Take two. Take two, yay! This is our day two K2 Aviation excursion to Denali Mountain and yeah like Nikki just said what a difference 24 hours makes so uh, just a little while ago you were here with me looking at this and we couldn't see anything and here you are 24 hours later and look at that look at that So that's got to be Denali there, right? The flat, it's that one? The one, yeah, the one that's flat. Because remember I was saying you think That one would, looks higher. Nope, that one's higher. So okay. that one's closer. Oh, it's closer. Okay. It doesn't have the big peak like you would think it would. Yeah. And so the flatter one is Denali. Okay. So I believe that one's four acre, but I'm sure the internet will correct me. Okay. Big difference sunshine makes. It's a beautiful building, isn't it? I think you're supposed to uh, do the Velcro and the buckle. Do they make my butt look big? I 
think so. You're truly windows. How do you actually say those? Yeah. Yeah, and who was the other one? How about Jeremonte party of two? Renee and John Paul? Yeah. We're a party of four. Oh, party of four, I'll take that. And Salazar? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. That's the hardest part of the flight right there. Two, four, six, eight. Who are we missing? How about Johanna's four eight? I'm gonna go over some of the safety stuff before we go flying again. My name's Chad, I'll be your pilot today, obviously. Passing briefing cards, these are in the seat back pocket in front of you, like every other commercial airline you've been on. It comes with a map in case you get lost aboard this really large aircraft. You can see the emergency exits up front, two in the back. Those little doors in the front are little turnstile handles. He's got some back of little lift up style handles. And again, these are the seat back pocket in front of you. We have a couple ways to communicate in the unlikely event of an emergency. That little white whip antenna you see there on the back is known as an ELT, an emergency locator transmitter. It's automatically activated. If not, there's a red toggle switch up front on the right-hand side of the dash that's in the arm mode right now. You just push up on that and it'll activate it. That cause calls the Calvary. We also have this Zach phone with us. Got a little call for help button right on the top of that as well. This is going to be sitting on a cradle up front there charging. While it does, it's going to be leaving a breadcrumb trail that's followed by our flight dispatch. On the two flight plans that we're going to be on today, here we talk to radio on the way out as well, file a secondary flight plan. Due to the remote nature of our operations, we take a lot of extra precautions to keep us safe. That's one of the things we do. Another thing we do is we carry a bunch of survival equipment in the rear of this aircraft. We're not going to need that. I just want you to know it's there. No smoke and flight. There's a fire extinguisher just left in my seat. There's one on the back shelf here as well. The most important thing you can do for me for your safety is keep your seatbelt on at all times. You'd be surprised how many people have had to get up and walk around. You're never free to move about the cabin during this flight. <laughs> We're in the middle of the mountains, there's wind, all the fun stuff. But there's this funny thing as a guide pilot, everybody on the right thinks they're missing everything on the left, and everybody on the left thinks they're missing everything on the right, and they get up and walk around. That's absolutely not a rough loud. So remain in your seat at all times, that's how they go together, that's how they come apart, this is how they adjust, we all know that. I'll probably remind you to put a little extra tug on your seatbelt as we get closer to the range. It's not uncommon to get a wind shift as we get in there. There's two types of turbulence, Mother Nature and me. I can't do anything about Mother Nature, but I love what I do for a living, so if I'm doing too much of this, the glacier that we're going to is at the bottom of the valley, that's like this, so i got to avoid all that to get to the glacier. I also like to get this big, ugly green color so you can get some beautiful pictures. So if I'm doing too much maneuvering, let me know, I'll do a little less of that. I'm not here to give you a run, you'll ride, or it's not six flags, any of that. <laughs> I'm here to keep you comfortable, so, but if you end up losing, there's a white bag inside this blue bag. There's been a lot of unsuccessful attempts. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not water close, it's hard to hold on to once you fill it up. <laughs> we all have headsets. The headsets have microphones. The only time they work is like when they're right on your lips. So if it's up here, down here, or over either side, it won't pick up. You can hear yourself in what's called your side tones or your ears. I can hear you as well. We're all connected via the intercom. It's kind of like Vegas. What happens in the airplane stays in the airplane. I'm the only one on the bottom of the outside world. But you will hear all the other radio traffic that I'm listening to as well. So. As I'm taxiing out, we're all leaving at the same time, so it's kind of important for you to pay attention to what's going on. And then while I'm landing your aircraft, for obvious reasons, it'll be important to distract you. I'm going to give you a little bit of a commentary as to what little I know about flying around this park in the last five years. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll let you know what you're doing. I'll let you know Again, welcome aboard. My name's Chad. First half to co pilots. I'm going to sit up front. Nobody? You're a soldier.
there. Okay, hand that off to you. Yeah, absolutely. Watch your head. Yep. Okay. Then. No, Nikki's right here. Oh, the temperature is perfect. Oh, it is. Don't need a coat. No. I don't. I wouldn't go with that. But... Look at the, look at this view. I know. We gotta get somebody to get a picture of us. What are the things that have in We'll have to. Okay. See the avalanche? It's like a waterfall of snow over here. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down low. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right, you're going to... You gonna taste any of that? Gonna go down, go down deep for some good clean stuff, huh? Yeah. I was only walked on last week. Okay, has a taste. Yeah. Fresh glacier water, fresh. It's glacier water, fresh. I can share. Share my snow with you. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Icy. <laughs> Icy cold. Icy cold. Oh, what's that? A little chalet or something over there, huh? Yeah. Weather the station? Something? Maybe a weather station? Is that a helicopter pad? Yeah, picture in the front of the plane. What, what is. We gotta ask what this is over here. Yeah, they've got. Well, they've got a. Is it weather station? Weather station. They've got uh, a yeah. con probably a control tower. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> There's the blizzard. <laughs> and he's off the ground.